Hello and welcome back to So April. So today I will be doing my May June mix. I'm so sorry it's taken so long to get everything together. I've had just a million things going on. Um. Anyways, for May I have a lot of stuff and June three things. So let's go ahead and get with it. I do not have all the stuff with me, so most of the stuff I will be putting up in pictures. So I hope y'all don't mind that. Um, and let's see. So I'm gonna start from the top so that way I don't forget anything. I always feel like I forget stuff. Okay, um, so I made several game day jerseys from Love Notions. I made the uh, dark, it's like a green blue shirt and it has the stars on it. And then I also made a red and black one. That one's for my daughter. It ended up being too small. Um, and then I made a burgundy one that has Supernatural on the top with some scraps that I had. And then I also made um, is this another green one? I don't know. And we'll see. If, I, if there's another one, I'll put it in there. If not, I'll just edit this part out. Okay. Um, then I made two pairs of the Urban Legs short, um, Urban Leg pattern from Ellie Mac. One of them I used swimwear material and I, I didn't get a picture of this one. So I'll put a picture of the other ones up. But this one I just wore to the beach when I went swimming. So there's that. And then I also made, I thought I made three, but maybe it was just two of the Urban Legs um, from Ellie Mac, the animal print capris, it's like a leopard print, I'll insert pictures here, and then I also made one with like a, like a stretchy jean looking material, and I wore all those on my vacation, it was so fun and easy to wear because it was stuff I made, and it didn't have a lot of pockets and bulky stuff, so that was really fun. And then I also made the B. Brazy Peplum from Ellie and Mac. It's a blue one. And I made the green one that I wore for my swim top. So I'll go in and insert a picture of that here. And then I also made, this is like the Ellie and Mac show. Okay, so I made my granddaughter an Ellie and Mac going home raglan shirt and I used some uh, she picked the material out we had some Cinderella mice and then I put a design that she picked out from with Cinderella and then I also made myself a Cinderella shirt that was the uh, Georgian ginger throwback tee I had just used the two pieces that didn't have the color blocking on them so it was just a solid front and solid back I wanted to get the shape and size on it um, which I made another one. This one I made with uh, the design on it. Redid in Christ. I thought that was really pretty. The only problem I have with her shirt pattern here is I feel like I'm being choked. So I think I'm going to actually take the neck off of them and make it wider because I really don't like how height that is so I might be doing a lot of fixing stuff for this next month um and then I made whoops fell down I was so excited to make this I wore this at my sister's on vacation it was my boat dress this is the LA Mac I use the B breezy top and the tress bell half circle skirt on the bottom I call it my breezy bell, <laughs> but I totally loved the way this turned out, and it was when I first got my rainbow serger thread, which is so fun, so there was that, 
and it turned out really nice. Did you need something? All right, and then I made two bags from Sincerely Jen. Um, she names her bags from the TV show Friends, and this pattern was called the Ugly Naked Guy. So if you ever seen Friends, like that was a really funny episode. So this is the one that I made for me. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. And it has the strap and just a you know a zipper inside. I didn't go real fancy with slip pockets or anything. I did add a zipper in the front and a uh, pocket here in the back. And I made my sister a Captain Marvel one. I'll insert a picture up here. And let's see. Then I made the Green Cell Creations Venice Beach shorts, which I'll have to get a picture later because I'm wearing them. <laughs> and I wear these all the time. I really need to make more. So yeah, there's there's that. And then I made this bag for my vacation. I made this out of necessity. I didn't have a pattern and I wanted to make um, something that I could put my toothpaste in and not worry if it spilt out in there. So it's Cinderella and then it has um, clear blue vinyl on the inside. So, I just made a little box pleat, it's a cute little bag, and then, last but not least, this was one of my absolute favorite makes ever. I made this for my trip for putting all my stuff in. I've never had like a luggage bag or anything. This is the Sincerely Jen Tribbiani Traveler. So, and I made mine out of this cute stitch material. I added a pocket here. It doesn't call for that. And then, like, there's the side. It doesn't have anything in it, so it's trying to, like, smush out. And then I put the rainbow connectors, and I used rainbow thread. I don't know if you can even see that. And then on the inside I used the material. And yeah, I decided to go fun and do the pink here, the baby blue here, and then the like the stitch blue here because he's like that color and his belly is the lighter and then the pink and then the yellow, I figured match the coconuts or pineapples pretty well. And I saw on Lauren Mormino, her video, she added, uh, this right here is not supposed to be in here, the yellow inlay, but I thought it looked really cool on her. So I added that and I love it. And then I put my little, name tag up through there. Oh, it's really hard to maneuver things around, but you can see it's a really cute, cute bag, and it was really simple to make. So, that was all of May. June, oh, no, this one was June the George and Ginger throwback tee. And then I made a tester of my my daughter Ashley, the one that got married. I made her wedding dress. And so I'll insert the tester picture of the first one that she picked. And she ended up picking the gala dress um, from Patterns for Pirates. And that was the first time ever that I attempted the princess seams. That one I had cut out on my projector, and I guess because it was an AO file, it cut, it made it really small. So, 
Then when I made it in paper, it was way too big. So I ended up making like eight different sample sizes for her to wear before we ended up getting the final dress. So uh, hopefully she'll let me show the final dress on my Friday sew. So I'm going to ask her before I just put it on there. So I think I did put it on one of the videos, but I'll see if I can do it for her wedding day. We'll see if she'll let me. Um, and then, I don't know, that was just two things I made for June. Yeah, I had like a whole week that I didn't feel good and I was on vacation for like five, six days and then like a week after vacation, I had to like re-energize myself. So June was a pretty slow month with me sewing. I did go ahead and start like cleaning and organizing. Um, see if I can do this without filming it all. I got a lot of my fabric organized. So, yeah. Um, I will <laughs> try not to make it too dizzy. I will go ahead and let you go. I have to do a fabric haul pretty soon. And I will go ahead and talk to you later. Bye.